Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to build a beautiful chicken coop in your own yard. The chicken coops I was finding online were very expensive and very small. And I probably should have about a hundred square feet for 11 chicks. Wisconsin winters, they last a long time. Um, so I wanted them to be comfortable inside. I'm gonna build it 12 feet by eight feet. I'm gonna use three posts for the 12 feet and then two posts for the eight feet. Dig holes, fill them with concrete and then set the posts on top. The tops of the holes are all level with each other. I'm gonna pour the concrete. I'm hoping that this weekend I can build most of the chicken coop structure and we'll get those chicks out of the house. It'll be nice. Mark two feet up on each one of these posts. I'm gonna notch them out for the two by six frame around the hole. that I've got these all fastened in. I'm going to mark 16 inches on center, put the joists all the way across. I'm gonna use two by fours for most of it. I'm gonna use two by sixes probably in the middle to make the middle stronger, and then two by fours for the rest of it. Got all the joists in. I have three sheets of plywood for this, so I just put a uh, blocking between each joist just to kind of tie it all together and strengthen it up. And now I'm going to put the sheathing on. Got the sheathing done. Um, you can walk in it now. Now it's time to uh, start working on what's up above. Okay, so I've notched out all the tops and I'm about to put two by fours that basically box this in. So it'll strengthen up the tops, um, line it all up so it's all, you know, 12 feet by eight feet. I set up kind of a preliminary idea for the roof structure. I'm gonna build a two foot wall here. Set that top 10 foot two by four all the way down. So I have enough room to stand up in there. We'll start doing that. Never really been a math guy, so laid this whole two by four on top of the frame, put my speed square up against it, I marked the same thing on this end, measured up an inch up the mark, and I went from an inch up the mark all the way to the very beginning of this mark, and that's where I cut. Did the same thing up top, and now it sits on real nice. I'll duplicate this about nine times across the building. We got the top part up there. I'm gonna frame up the first box, put an eight inch wall, put the box on top of that, give them a little space off the ground so our kids can come in and get the eggs from the inside, but we have a comfortable way to get them from the outside. And that's what I'm doing right now. Got this framed up for the nesting box, and then I'm gonna frame this up for extra box if we need it in the future. Just gonna plywood over it and then later down the road if we need to cut it out put another nesting box in there we can do that. And here I, I decided to put the door. I was gonna put it over here on the same side as the chicken door to have more headspace here but I think I'm gonna make this whole thing the run. So basically what I'm gonna do is build a wall to brace this here. I'm gonna cut out this section I put in um, so I can put that header and um, the doorway up in there. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Now I'm gonna have mama frame up a wall. It's starting to rain, so I gotta get this done. have it 
Chicken door here, door for humans, nesting box. Nesting box number two if we need it. Uh, opening here so we can open it and push out all the old compost. Oh, a little door there with the latch. Oh, that's a mistake, Cause I'm a fossil nature and I'll blow you away if you try to face me. Na, 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 na. Hey guys, ended up getting a lot done this weekend. I'll make a second video to finish the chicken coop.